Let's get it. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying with the goddamn hair, y'all league. So, we about to get into Messy Monday. Drama alert. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of CJ song good on mute. <laughs> Everybody hates Chris Messy Monday. He has repeatedly reached back <laughs> to help those around her. She always looking out for those. She Thank you, uh, Misty Best. It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. Thank it's you, a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. Yes, it's a whole Chris. lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. I'm a sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't sit with me. Come on, girls, let's get. Hey creeps and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP and that is pretty on purpose. How are you doing? Before I start this Messy Monday, I just want to say I love you guys. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Make sure you're spending every moment that you can with your friends and your family. Um, telling them that you love them, that you cherish them, because life is not promised. And that's why I always tell y'all, we come here every morning to gather, to kiki, to laugh, all of that. But in today's time, you don't even know if you're going to make it through a day. So, shouts out to y'all. Because as you all know, Jackie <laughs> passed away. I met her through Wild and Out. Um, every moment I was around her, it was always smiles. It was Damn, always she laughter. Got... Um, she was a sweet. They about to, um, I just seen they pulling her funeral up. Oh, they doing it on Fairburn Road. Damn, people can just come? Heart. You know, very soft-spoken, but you knew she was in the room. I want to extend my love to DC, her children, the family, my Wild and Out family, um, because this one hurt. It was unexpected, um, and all you can do is just pray and just ask yeah, God. Yeah, I'm going to do a video on her, um, on his, uh, his tribute to her on Instagram. Strengthen everybody that has been in her presence or around her. And um, I know my friend good. You know what I'm saying? I know she good because her heart was pure. So we love you, Jackie. If Jackie family watches Messy Monday, I love you. Um, any of her cousins, relatives, whatever, I love you. Um, stay strong. I ask God to cover you. I ask him to give you strength and understanding in this time. And uh, just know you will and can get through this. All right, now before we start Missy Monday, I gotta give a shout out to my friend and that is Queen Rose. Hey, bitch. Queen Rose, baby, you were the first to comment on my Twitter page. You had your post notifications popping, bitch. And I appreciate that because honey, without y'all, there would be no me. And I love that y'all love on me, okay? So I am taking the time out to send you your appreciation for being dedicated to little old Zoe, baby. And um, I hope everybody go and follow you. Say hey to you, y'all. That's our Zoe Navy sis. And uh, yeah, it is what it is, bitch. Hey, bitch. Now, baby, the girls was girling last week. Last week was weekend, but this week <laughs> is weekend. I mean, I don't know if it's because it's getting hot outside. It's been oh, 82 the degrees. Bathroom. I don't know no. what the fuck going on. Down. I don't know what y'all drinking. I don't know if y'all, I don't know what y'all doing. But y'all is doing the do, and the do is I'm doing, and bitch, it is doing it, okay? Because today, ooh, how do you know I want to talk about it? But we gotta talk about it, okay? So I'm gonna get to y'all favorite part, and that is the shit, the sugar honey iced tea, because these girls <laughs> love Stan and some <laughs> shit. First for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Mega Stallion and Ronald Lucacoo, Cuckoo. whoever. Y'all know what I'm talking about, bitchy fine. So anyway, child, the girls was gagging. 
Megan will pop up at these folks wedding, right? And she was seen sitting with him. Now everybody running around talking about some old oh, girl. Y'all just always wanna speculate stuff. Why can't people be friends and child they just Nah, cause who just goes on a wedding date? You know what I'm saying? You wanna come to this wedding with me? Like, that's a hell of a like thing to come to. Then they had to sit beside each other. Woo -woo -woo. I'm just like, oh, bitch, I know you fucking lying. She don't know nobody there. There ain't none of her circles. So why the fuck is she there? Bitch, she there because she fucking on that man. Bitch, y'all just want to act like, y'all just be acting like y'all so dumb. Like y'all don't see shit. Oh, it ain't nothing. Y'all want to always assume something. Right. Ass out of yourself. <laughs> no, bitch, you made her ass out of yourself. We knew what the fuck was going on. Oh, we know how she be frolicking. That's a damn stallion. Not frolicking. Bitch, she be galloping, bitch, you hear me? But galloping? Like, hey, so after the internet was in a friend, because everybody had seen him at, what's his name, Latoro Martinez wedding. Child, I guess they said the cat is out the bed, baby. Bitch, they said, fuck it. So, child, look at this man. Ooh, that is, ooh, that's like a tall chocolate glass of milk. Chocolate milk. <laughs> Hershey bar, snicker bar, sugar daddy. Oh, that's a Reese Club. Oh, girl, I know. Oh, I just know that thing. Dang it! So, the girls were getting messed. They said, you like Megan Fox? He said, no. Megan the Stallion? Yes. I said, right. So, that's why she been getting real fit. Girl, no. She getting fit so that ass can look good when she shake it. Okay? Bitch. Because look at him. And then look how her body done developed. Oh. Nah, she been working out. I ain't gonna lie. He can't even do that to her. <clears throat> she been working out for years. She's all about, like, health and wealth and shit. Oh. oh yeah. Man. You know she been going through all that bullshit that was just stress and trauma and all that. And then, you know, you work out, you release that energy. Oh, right. this man getting you hot, sweaty, fucking you, throwing you. Ah! <laughs> and y'all know Megan, she gotta have a big man. She's a big woman. I guess her team decided to say, you know, let us put an end to all this bullshit. Yeah, she might be seen with this man, whatever case they be. I gotta, gotta, whoop, whoop, whoop. And they said Megan Thee Stallion is focusing on healing. I know she is healing, baby. I need a healing for my soul. I need a healing for my soul. <laughs> I bet you is healing, bitch. And I ain't got nothing to say bad about it, girl. Do your due diligence, girl. Do your due diligence, girl. The dick must be dickhead, bitch. Cause <laughs> Not the dick must be dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bitch. And everybody was like, well, where is party? Bitch, the party is over. <laughs> well, I bet the party is over, girl. That man is gone, side still delivered, not yours, okay? So, really, what had happened was everybody was like, well, when did this happen? Did we miss a couple of chapters? No, girl, the chapter was played. Remember when she was in court and then they had to talk about all the men she done slept and laid with? And then they came out and she made that statement like, you know, that ruined her life, stuff happened. Why would they talk about who she land with? What the hell did that have to do with the court case? Can somebody tell me? What did her coochie have to do with court? That man was embarrassed and upset by four, all four, the four in the chat. how she done lay with. He just said he can do that. But what the next man don't want, the next man will. Hello, and child, one man is trash. It wasn't dick like we thought it was. And so this new man got a lot of dick and he can still dick in the ground. That's crazy, y'all. Anyway, well, she don't move on, so it ain't about me. Megan Thee Stallion is with the soccer player, La Cuckoo King, whatever his name is. <laughs> next day. <laughs> next for the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we got Snow Walker and Lil Beach. Now, child, I guess love must be in the air. I love them. Because the girls is out here frolicking real bad. Now, I'm not finna sit here and do all this. Oh my god, they go. I love it for them. This is so cute. Because, girl, we done played this radio before. This is not the first rodeo we done did with this woman, okay? Now, I love Miss Summer Walker. I'm not shading her. I love her. I, I just, you know, the first <laughs> three months are real. always good, bitch. Catch me after the third month. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Okay, but. This what they doing, let them be in love, let them have their fun, you know, they single, mingle, whatever, child, this is her life. They do not be in love, I don't feel like none of these people be in love. I feel like they be in and be having some good sex. Like everybody else, when they be outside sexing, okay, on whoever. 
And it ain't money either. These people be rich. Some walker got her own money. She don't need his shit. But y'all be out here putting them on pedestals at the beginning. Y'all know how that shit go, girl. <laughs> what happened? So anyway, now that they are official and the world know what is going on, they just out here showing out. You look so handsome. What'd you say? You look so handsome. Thank you, babe. I miss you. I miss you. Bro, what you hating, bro? What you hating, bro? I just was talking all that old shit and all that shit. Shut that shit up. Hey, what you hating? Yeah, I want to love somebody too. <laughs> we need a cousin. I know. Walker got like Get like that. You're making me miss my girl, bro. <laughs> you missing your girl, bro? I'm missing my girl now. Just hearing this conversation. See, the girl is upset because he didn't stand up and hug a child. So I don't know, honey. It's very much giving me internet. It's just, I mean, you know, it is what it is. We go, we go, we go see them after four months. If they last, I wish all of them get together and make a YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? After four months, then I might, I'd be like, okay, girl, this might be going somewhere, but. I just don't see four months in that. I don't see it in the future, girl. But don't mark my word. Don't put no stamp on it, baby. Because you know, sometimes the girls will fool you, child. Yeah, but no. <laughs> let it do what it do, baby. If they like it, I love it. So if it ain't about me, let's kick it. Next cat. Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we got Danny Lee. Now, child. Lee, child. You need to go late. Because what in your right mind made you think that it was okay to quiet and drink and drive? And then you were so drunk that you even drugged the man some blocks. Nah, dragging that man blocks is crazy. And everybody been asking me to speak on this damn Danny Lay situation. Not everybody, one person actually, to be honest with you. One person like, Nick, I'm waiting on the Danny Lay situation. That shit is crazy. Like... My nigga, like, if I don't want my baby daddy to win, I'm going to do everything in my power to not allow that to happen. Okay? So the baby had her looking a damn fool a couple years ago. All right? <clears throat> when I feel like she was going through, um, uh, what's, what's the shit after you have a baby? Baby, what's the shit after you have a baby? Honey, she has. She sleep. Ain't no way she sleep. Hold on. Artem! Postpart! Yeah, I, I was, I really went in there because she wasn't supposed to be asleep because we supposed to be doing grown people stuff after I get off the slap. Okay. But anyhow, postpartum. Had her looking crazy as hell. And then she got the nerve to look crazy by herself. <laughs> so now everybody looking at the baby like, oh. She was crazy. So everything that happened a couple years ago, now they're going to blame her for doing the shit. And then um, her dragging the dude blocks is down the road is crazy. And not no, like you was drunk as hell. What is going on, y'all? I thought she was in a better place right when you was doing good. You was just doing some shit with Beyonce. So why you might have to the <laughs> Ooh, What's she stressed about? She is all right. And you got all this money. You can get you no driver. Man, come on. No Diddy? What no, was your she friend? can't. Where were you coming from? Because if she go to sleep, she ain't getting no. up. Baby. He set her up. What y'all? Uh, so you ain't going to do that to my friend. He was outside doing his shit. Firemanning. Now I put the baby in and he wasn't nowhere to be found. Oh, he over no. there responsible with the child. Ooh, crap. Folks definitely that don't act right after a nap. What the fuck done happened? 
They said that according to TMZ, Danny Lee was arrested on Tuesday morning in Miami Beach, where she allegedly hit someone on a motorized scooter. Girl, go ahead. Witnesses say the single was swerving in and out of lane before hitting a pedestrian. Oh, bitch. Good careful. She allegedly dragged the mop. <laughs> Allegedly dragged the hoop. Now, I know that's what y'all read when y'all saw it too. Ma, I'm like, who is she allegedly dragged the, the mop? Ma, who mopping in the street? That's, that's what I said. I said, who mopping in the street? God damn, she didn't <laughs> <laughs> But it's moped. Now they should have spelled it different, but it's That's how moped. Spell, friend. She dragged a, mo a person on the moped about a block before somebody flagged down the police. Now, I, where the hell you going that fast that you don't know you done hit a moped? 11 11 and you done the chat, right? Well, where is you going? Whoo, Jesus Christ, I tell you the truth. Lord have a sheep sheep and girl. And do y'all know that they said that this person has um spinal cord damage? Oh no. And kidney laceration. What? Oh, girl. Alexa, what's kidney laceration? A cut in her kidney? Or oh, whoever that person was. Kidney? Oh my God! Oh, she in some shit. Oh, she is in some shit. I might have to just do a video on the side for this one. Oh, that's the bag. Oh, baby. Oh. They finna sue you, boo. And you better hope you don't go to jail for no long time. Cause this, you could have killed somebody, girl. It ain't never yeah, that serious. she might go to jail, jail. Under the sail sail. What? So you don't even realize that you got a person on your car. You drag them for a couple blocks or a few blocks or whatever. Done fucked up their whole damn spinal cord and cut their kidney. Oh my God. She dressing out. It ain't never that serious. Oh my god. So y'all, I don't know what's going on. She about to be on the yet, yard. So we gonna see. <clears throat> now, mmm. Mmm. I don't think that yellow bone gonna get you up out of this, boo. Nah. <laughs> Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Well, if it ain't about me, y'all pray. I wouldn't have took no Uber or no Lyft either. I would have got a driver. I don't know why they don't be using their money. I don't get that. But Danny, next cat. Next for sugar, honey. Like I something that probably would have cost her five hundred dollars. Now she about to spend five hundred million. This ain't even worth five hundred thousand. This, this some millions. You cut a. You cut the kidney, bro. Even the spinal cord, you bitch, you about to be broke as hell and fucked up. You really about to be like, Jonathan, can I hold a couple of dollars? Chrissy, you ain't got to tell everybody that. Come on now. This industry, I tell you, you get one person. But next damn, person. Chrissy, not see now I'm in your business. You did it to yourself. Eleven million, bitch. So that means Danny Lay gonna have to pay like fifty. Alexa, what is Danny Lay net worth? She only worth five. Alexa, stop. She only worth five. Alexa, never mind. She only worth five million. 700K for a home on top of that. Child. 
He fucked up on that one. Next, next person. Next. It's just a pass around the pool. Pass around the pool. Pass around the pool. Why is he out here being a family that everybody else but his baby? <laughs> well, anyway, Sweetie and YG was seen out in the pool for Lil Razzle Dazzle. <laughs> and the girls caught it. And I know they was gagging, girl. Because that is really something I know. They be like, fuck! Y'all think YG attractive? Sweetie actually looked like she was ready to get up out of there right here. Or she needed to take a shit, one of the two. <laughs> it's giving a no. And the girls caught it. I know they was gagging, girl. Because that is really something I know. They be like, fuck! Shit! Yeah, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a hot girl summer because all the hottest is out here wild. Girl, you got it's a hot girl summer got for summer, real. You got this. But well, I ain't got, see Sweetie with the YG. Uh, Miami put her tongue down. Did it, girl, after we know what we know. Oh, <laughs> my God. I don't know. That tongue will go down my throat, but that's not none of my business. We're going to leave that alone. But, yeah, they was on uh, Spot Out and right. Combo Child. All love it, dummy, and shit. That's and what I mean. Didn't remember, they had already sparked rumors of them dating back at Coachella the beginning of the year, and everybody was like, you know, oh, they just friends. Oh, they this same shit they did with Megan Thee Stallion and this new man, girl. And, Child, look at them now. Boot up. When y'all see somebody with somebody, bitch, they is with that person. If they not with that person, oh, bitch, they fucking. Please know that. Okay. Child, this is 2023. The, the bitches ain't friends no more with nobody. Y'all can believe that shit going to. They can just be friends. No, bitch, who do friends now? Okay. No friends. <laughs> now, neither one of them have come out and said that this is a legit thing, but baby. He obviously they attracted is to her. 4K, okay? Hold on. Now, after the pictures don't went out and started surfacing, y'all know who don't popped up? Hey, no, Child, she came out and she said, just because we got the same blood don't make don't make us family. And just because we got kids don't make us family. Because with family like mine, I'd rather not have any. Now, what I want to say is, yeah, you right. These, mom, these baby mamas always come out and just be hating. He got old like Omar Epps. Facts! Y'all, Omar Epps used to be fine, fine. Like Morris Chestnut fine. Like them two niggas together in the in the eighties and nineties was like, oh my God. But uh Omar Epps, he lost it. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, that is some true shit. But why you didn't say all this before these pictures start servicing? Okay. What, what, I mean, where, where was you at? Because you must say none of this until you saw this. Now, what, one thing a baby mama gonna do, some of them, is gonna come out when that man is spotted with a new woman. But you must say, Chrissy, go look him up. Hey, when he went with nobody. So, girl, I'm trying to be sympathetic. I'm trying to, you know, understand or whatever the case may be. But, girl, I can't because now you wanna do all this and you done seen this <laughs> and all when you Bring doing that when there was no that. But. You never thought Morris Chestnut was business. cute? You're right, he wasn't cute. He was fine and still is. I seen him in person. When I quick story time. When I first got to Atlanta, I go to the damn um gym. What's the damn gym? LA Fitness. And <clears throat> this the one in Buckhead. Girl, his tall, chocolate, fine looking tail, bald head self. I was like, well, hello, Morris. <laughs> well, hello, Morris. <laughs> How you doing? You know what I'm saying? How you doing? He another one need to have his own gym. Why the hell you in here? But anyway, hello, Morris. <laughs> Child, he is tall. You hear me? Mama just nice looking looking shout out to all the baby mama whose main focus is the baby and not the daddy. If it ain't about me, <laughs> let's keep it. Let's go. <laughs> Next question, honey, iced tea. Is it Chica or Shaka? Ooh, her tea. I don't know. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> and I think and they, Now, the girl makes some good music. Shaka, she cool. Gotcha. <laughs> 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 she, <laughs> <laughs> she made some good music, but I always see her in mess. Oh, Method Man, mess, too. Mess, 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 I haven't mess. seen Method Man in person, but that's a nice looking man. I like her. 
So I don't know. Anyway, well, she was on the plane coming Ooh, home. Lorenz Tate, too. Them is three nice looking men that ain't aged yet. Okay. I was coming from somewhere going to LA. And Zani, and I guess, you know, had her babies and her family with her niece and, you know, her child. They was uh, in first class. And then the baby started crying about their sleep. You know, it was dark in the air, probably turbulence, whatever case they be, you know, children, whatever. Whoop, 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 kids gonna cry. And so um, she got mad and said, oh, why would y'all book a first class ticket for these children? You know what I'm saying? When well, we up here done paid this good money to be up here now these children go, why? Why? And so, child, she went on the internet to talk about the children, just call them all types of names. As y'all can see, all this, all the bees and these and bastards and stuff. And I'm like, you talking about the kids? Right. <laughs> what did they do to you? This ain't gonna end well for you, Miss Mama. So then, child, I guess she didn't know who children they was. And she got girl to know who children they were because you've seen Zonnick and them over there. So why would you say this lady or somebody when you've seen the family? She actually, so she spoke out today, and apparently Zonique was not with her, was not with the children. Anyway, well, she posted because she's um she said she need to vent and get that shit out because she said if she don't get that shit out, then you know she gonna die. Now, yeah. So after she said she hoped these folks get paper cut in between their fingers and all this other <laughs> disrespectful shit, y'all can read it. Y'all see what she said here? She said a lot, a whole lot, a whole lot. A whole lot of get that ass to a whole lot of type stuff. Okay. So then I guess one of her supporters was like, oh my God, I fucked with you, but I wish you wouldn't have said that because that was really disrespectful. And then it was to a child. Like, I could see if she was talking about a grown folk in there acting crazy. You know what I'm saying? But you're talking about children. Posting because I think it's important and because I understand that people who actually do want to support me were also offended by my inflammatory thread yesterday. I'm sorry because it was triggering, infuriating to many. I just don't like being seen as someone I'm not. No kids gonna cry, and so her person was just like, I just wish you wouldn't have said it, woo And then you know she, she was real big girlish behind the scenes, talking to her little supporter like, you know, I said what I said, and I said what I said, what I said is what I said, and I'm like, what I said is whatever I said it. You know, real, real like, hey, this me type shit. And then girl, I guess once that nigga right. world start coming out, bitch, mama tried to backtrack a little bit. I know that y'all really want me to talk about talking about an anonymous child that I didn't know. And I know that right now it's like, oh, it's a celebrity baby. If y'all ain't raised about a child before, I don't give a f use the words I did or didn't. It, <laughs> I get it, y'all are pissed, be pissed, that's fine. I'm not calling anyone crazy for being pissed. I know I was real harsh, but <clears throat> sorry, I can't give a but I know y'all want My thing is, get your rich ass some headphones and tune them goddamn children out. She act like they was getting up, running around the plane and all kind of shit. me out this And so, I'm looking for my room. So I'll be out when it's necessary, don't worry. But at this time, like, I just wanted to say, before I head out, y'all, the double standards are fucking crazy. It's and then the double standards, like, nobody would have gave a damn if it was a celebrity child or not. <laughs> These kids ain't do nothing to you. Insanity. Y'all get to say anything to me. I get on Twitter and talk about a random baby. And yeah, was I mean? That motherfucker said a random ass baby. Mm -hmm. Real mean. <laughs> because guess what? I not slept for two days. And also had a in uh, a <laughs> therapy session with my therapist telling them I've had really bad thoughts today and I had to pack my bags and be on the way to be in my city to do this goddamn show and I'm gonna kill the show tomorrow and I'm excited about that and I know everyone's gonna be like shut the f up you big bitch I don't <laughs> that's y'all's be safe bro no but like for me I'm sitting here and I understand how nonsensical it is and I know this is not gonna do nonsensical me any favors and I'm not trying to do it myself any favors. They're already unhinged. So I'm this is my room. This is my room. I'm just looking at it as one of those things. I'm looking at it as one of those things that like of course it would happen to me. This is just like See, she's terrible. I'm like, <laughs> it's been a, month, a year and a half not saying.
to nobody and mind my goddamn business in one minute. You know what I mean? I get mad at episode and I'm like, let me f***ing let the chopper sing. Let me f***ing say some that I wouldn't ordinarily Let the chopper sing on an adult, honey. <laughs> Did you not think the rest of the world was going to come at you about a baby? <laughs> say what I feel in this moment. Let me f***ing write a letter I won't send and just say some why because I'm pissed and tired and manic. Let me just say it so I can get it off my chest because this is how the f I feel. All of a sudden, it's like this hates black children. I'm like, <laughs> uh, you should have texted your therapist that shit because she's talking about her having a therapist. What I'm saying is, y'all, because she said that she literally had to talk to her therapist. She should have told her therapist she was thinking about that shit. Real shit. Like, yo, these fucking kids is pissing me off. That's something you say like on the low. You know what I'm saying? This gonna make it better. I mean, uh, worse. This gonna make it way worse. <laughs> My, that's how you see me. That's how work. you see me. I can't change your mind. That's what you want to think. Most logical people are like, mm, she she popped off and it wasn't necessary. And that was a little much. But she said a lot. However, we all go through it and we all say things. And the rest of y'all are like, are you kidding me? Really? Why would you say that about a child? I'm like, I'm fucking them babies. You imagine waking up at 4 a.m. and somebody is kicking you and screaming. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm crazy. I'm the crazy. I'm, I'm crazy. Imagine being in a manic episode. You ain't slept. You ain't ate. You're on the fucking phone slash Zoom with your therapist and you're like, I don't want to be here and I had that thought for the first time today in a year and he's like okay let's talk about it for 30 minutes and after those 30 minutes you gotta get in the shower wash all your clothes pack your remember your set list get to the airport before your plane leaves and get on it and hope to God that you can sleep for seven hours so by the time you get to your mom you're not a crying mess mind you I was so then uh the mother of the child who was crying came out and she said well let me tell you something you stupid bitch <laughs> I said, oh my god it's not too cold damn that, that was me you were sitting next to so let me enlighten you dumb uh ho -huh. they weren't twin they weren't twin one year olds one was my four year old child and the other uh crying baby you're referring to was my niece Zanique baby and she is two years old you're upset because she woke up for three minutes crying out her sleep like most fucking children and i did immediately calm her calm her by holding her and talking to her because it was dark as hell i can't believe you are that insensitive to when she woke up once on a five-hour flight from la and second off it wasn't your seat from the beginning you switched with someone else and sat your fat ass next to me and let me express the funk that you brought on top of that crazy ish was it you in my ear saying those girls are so good before she woke up out her sleep uh scared crying because it was pitch black and her tv had gone off so she was startled <clears throat> i appreciate all the things you wish for me um i can't wait to see your ass again in person itch you just mad a woman and two children could afford first class next to a peasant such as yourself. You fake itch in person. Uh, that was me you were sitting next to. Let me enlighten your dumb ass. <laughs> I sit her out the she gate. went crazy on her. You are reading. So she was letting a girl know that was her one year old child. Woo -woo -woo, yada, yada, yada. The other one was my niece, baby. Woo -woo -woo, yada, yada, yada. As y'all can see, it's a whole lot. If y'all want to pause it and read it, do it. But baby, I'm not about to read all of that. All I read was she said, that girl stank. <laughs> She did, she stayed. She looked nice. Are you doing all that talking and you stay? Maybe that's why the baby was crying. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if she's thinking or not, but she said she stayed. Now maybe she said she stayed because, because she was talking about her children. So she was like, well, let me go back and embarrass her because she embarrassed my kids. So then that's when she could shock the cop. She came out and she said this. The last thing, actually, um, I haven't seen all the posts because I haven't been on the internet for if good said, reason. Like Let me talk about how she sent you steam. I get it. You think I'm fat. 
Therefore, you're like, oh, sloppy, oh my god, gross and disgusting. I showered 30 minutes before I got to the airport. My clothes was freshly out the goddamn washer, like I just said. I was wearing hella, no, well, not hella, but my favorite clean linen cologne. Ain't nobody stink around you. You're just mad that I said some mean things, and now you're trying Why to be she? like, what can I say? Why is she whispering like she in a room with somebody? And probably wasn't. Okay, you can say that. Just know that I know it's not true. And you know it's not true. You do know that it's true that your kids are annoying. But you can say what you want to say. You know, get your lick back. Now, all I'm saying is the kids might have been annoying, but damn, you going after the kids again? I'll just take a right. shot that you were wrong for saying what you did. Talking Granted, the kids might have been loud, crazy, could have shit, it smelled like poop, whatever. They cheering. That's cheering. But you can stop talking about no cheering. You talk about children in the group chat. You could have gotten your phone and said, these loud ass, disrespectful, stupid ass kids is getting on my motherfucking nerve. That's that. But, you know, I don't know. Because what if that was one of your nieces, nephew, or kid, and somebody said all that stuff, bastards, and this and that, you would be over it. So, so just say, I apologize. I was wrong. I should have right. went about it a different way. So then, uh, Deja come out. I think that's his like sister, right? Jessica, that's T.I. daughter. Yeah, her cousin, whatever. The whole family came out. Everybody just fighting. I don't know who's sweet at this point, but it's, it's the hands everywhere. I'm just trying to duck and read, okay? So she come out, and she was just like, look, I'm a person who goes through mental illness because, you know, she um, used to cut herself. I don't know if she's doing the most. Shouts out to you, baby. Your life means a lot. You're beautiful. You're amazing, and you're important, and you are meant to be here, and that's why you're here for this moment. <laughs> so she was like, you know what? Look, from a person who suffers from mental illness and suicidal thoughts and right. things like that, she was like, you could have went about it a different way. There's little about anything. Okay. She was like, you need to talk about the kids. Granted, yes, I know you wanted to vent. I know you got a manic episode, woo, 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 but you could have called somebody. You could have wrote it down. Child, I wouldn't have got on that plane. Like, if if my, if my, because y'all, anxiety is real. All that, the thought, all that shit is real. We all are in that. Now, I know some people have it worse, but child, she probably shouldn't have got on the plane. Real shit. Damn. Um, you could have, you know, when you land it, go to your therapist and speak about it since, you know, if you keep it in, it makes you feel like you want to jump off of the building, whatever she said. One, 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 all one, that check. stuff, I don't know. And a lot of people are thinking she's just saying this because that's her family. She's taking up for her family because it was her. Whatever, I don't know. But everything she was saying, I did agree. With. So yeah, this is a whole lot of whole lot of girls ain't saying and I hope Miss Mamas is okay. Uh Miss Sheikha Shaka <coughs> got <laughs> I hope she is okay because baby they ripped her new ass home. Alright, well if it ain't about me, let's keep eating it. Stand. Next for the Shigani Ice Tea, we got Miss <coughs> Okool. <laughs> home attack, but a popular social media influencer is now recovering from being shot. Fox I spoke with the influencer and brings us his story. Hey, let me tell you a story. Might get a bit gory. Uh, it was three in the morning. I was in the best morning. Now, CJ, you could have kept this on the unreleased. <laughs> that came out of the hospital thinking you pop smoke. <laughs> Baby, what is going on with you? You don't know what you want to do. <laughs> You just, you be all <laughs> over the place. But I'm a hush because hopefully he's gonna come out sooner or later and be like, oh, y'all, it's a prank. <laughs> that's what he do, that's what he known for, and that's what I see. <laughs> because the block is talking, and the block said, if it ain't sparkles, it should be. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. Might get him at gory. Niggas was like, gory? We don't want it. We, we don't know about no, 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 no privacy. But they ain't none of my business. I get it. Rappers go to jail and do their first day out, so. Right. But I ain't never seen nobody go to the hospital and then do a song on their first day out. Bitch, Soldier Boy. I think so. 
somebody finally beats you to something. You know, I'm not the only one that kiki. He said, <laughs> uh, 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 let me tell you the story. Might get a little glory. Uh, about three in the morning. Hey. I was in the best story. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? See that CJ. Boy, you know what? You get this shit out my face. You gonna ruin my fucking Monday. Get this shit out my goddamn face. All right, well, if it ain't about what? me, we are gonna play this song on M U C E. <laughs> Next, <laughs> Next for the sugar. I tell you the story. We got another. <laughs> Chris Miles and Joe. <laughs> Did these niggas just sit in a group chat and be like, let's fuck their life up today. <laughs> so every time Quinn come out with music, I have to troll. Fact. Because well, I'm it's so tired free of hearing promotion. This. You get what I'm saying? Fact. It's free promotion for her. And if I don't, my life will be at risk. My life will be at risk if I don't troll. You feel me? And I just want y'all to know, we forgot. Stop playing. This is wild. <laughs> bro, you got a kid, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, when I have a kid, y'all, it's certain that I know I troll too, but like, at a certain point in time, like, you got a. Chris ass ain't uploading in five days. Well, since he got uh, that situation that happened. And he was wrong. You know, Chris don't like to speak about when he wrong. Walking when he said he's gonna do, he said he's coming back, he's gonna be the messy girl. He said he messy, and y'all is y'all are feeding into this man. Mess. He wants y'all, he wants y'all to attack him. Chris is not trying to come back to be like them. He wants to come back as everybody hates Chris. That's what he needs to change his name to. Everybody hates Chris because yeah. that is what's gonna happen, and that's what he is doing, and he is doing it, and he is doing it well. Y'all, if y'all not gonna fight, just be quiet. I mean, but if y'all wanna run y'all bag up, run y'all bag up. Chris is running his bag up. But everybody ain't about a bag. Some folks is about the fist. So we gonna see what happened, baby. Anyway, well, oh, and Chris came, came out with a song. Uh-uh. Y'all, Chris is on overtime. <laughs> <laughs> this is a mess. Thank you, I am here. I'm here for I'm here for the new Chris. Chris, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> we missed you. If it ain't about me, let's kiki. Let's catch. I'm sober. That's all I got for the sugar honey ice tea. Let's get into this. Mix. Not the sugar honey ice tea was 34 minutes. First of all, okay, we got Tim and Bria Anderson versus Dave. Now, child, what? this is a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot. Now, y'all remember back in June 2022, Deja had revealed that Tim was the father of her son in an Instagram post, right? Now, what made it really messy was because when she posted that, it was just after Tim had put up some pictures with him yeah, and his Deja. wife of six years. So, everybody, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You've been with this woman for six years. And now this woman coming out saying that you are the father of her son. How the fuck did this happen? They were real quiet about the alleged affair, whatever the case may be. They never like said nothing about it. And he ended up leaving his Instagram and shit like that. So people are like, okay, well, this girl must be like, you know, just trolling, bitter, whatever. She's trying to break up a marriage. Yada, 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 woo, woo, woo. But child, that brings us up to now because now things is getting messy again. So child, there is this tea page that was posting stuff that came off of Deja's private story on Instagram recently. She had posted these pictures of him and her talking about they still together, woo, woo, woo. And she was calling him out for not defending her, you know, about, you know, all the allegations and things like that. So Bria had responded on this little page. She DM'd them and they ended up posting the DM. So then, baby, once they posted that, and Miss Deja seen it. Child, she unloaded the clip and mama went crazy. I mean, she scrolled from top to bottom of her photo gallery. I'm like, oh, child, she ain't playing no motherfucking game. So Bria had posted this, then Deja posted this, then Deja posted this, then Deja posted this, then Deja posted this. Deja was just like, oh, you want a motherfucking play and call somebody to lose the baby? I'm not the loser. Like, child, this man has been manning from the time she was pregnant. 
pregnant to the time she had the baby then from at her house hanging out with her son. And I'm just like, this is crazy. So then on her caption, she was like, he told me he was not with her only for her image and that he stayed by himself since I met him. Baby, let me tell you something. Me, me ain't gonna... Damn. Nah, that's crazy. I'll tell you what they want to tell you. Fuck him saying it's just for an image. They do that to keep you where you supposed to be. See, y'all new side chicks is different than y'all. Y'all okay. talk a lot now. I'm not saying side chicken is good, but baby, that man ain't leaving his wife. Because it's not the fact that you cheated, but you cheated on your wife and had a baby. That's, that's Horrible. And, and to be yeah. honest, the messiest one is the is the baby mama because you knew he had a wife and you still fuck with him anyway, and you went and got pregnant by this man. And I commend Bree because you still sticking it out with this man after he done went and messed with somebody else. But I know what you're doing, Bree. I know what you're doing. 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 You need to be with this man for ten years. And you can take half of his shit because he committed adultery, baby. I know what you're doing. So that means you got six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, bitch, you got three to four more years to go. Hold on in there, baby. She done fucked it up. Hold on in there. Because if you go, what is it? What is it? If you go before him, you don't get half of his shit. So, baby, hold on in there. And it's late, child. She done snitched on him. It's a wreck. Take it all and walk. I blocked your number for the both of us. Bitch, after all the commotion you done started, bitch, you ride this motherfucker out, ho. Okay. Uh, what the fuck is you talking about? I'm going to just block it after you done just showed us your whole photo album. Imagine blocking a number that ain't even calling you. <laughs> <laughs> if it ain't about me, let's get in the cat. Next to the docket, we got Dancing Edris. Edris. <laughs> Whatever. Um, child, a whole lot, a whole lot. This man is satanic crazy and need to call on Jesus because he done sat here and told us. Happening. I've discovered. Yeah. Um, Heaven. Lock. Yeah, I, I was. I remember sometime we do ten episodes for my show, and in this last season, um, I was hitting a block. Right, I, I was like, "Oh, I'm not doing it right." Right, so I went in the corner, and then I was looking at the wall, and I was like, "Come on, devil! Come on, devil! Right, mm. Get, come to me! Like, come to me!" What? I Hell no! Hell no! What? <laughs> I had to do something like crazy, right? had nightmares for a month so it does come to it or after? after after like i had nightmares every day like i just felt i felt that energy oh interesting you know and i had to pray and do all this stuff to like get rid of it and you know you call your mom up and you're like bring me back to life and mm -hmm. that stuff is real that yeah. stuff really is real i think i was kidding myself now see this is why they need to get people who really live that life to play these roles because nigga right you couldn't call on jesus <laughs> i mean ain't you the one that gave me to get jesus I need you now. If I ain't never asked for anything, I need you to take this block off of me. But you want to call on uh, uh, Lucy? <laughs> <laughs> Leave Lucifer where he at. But no, you want to call him and ask him to come help you. And then you wonder why you feeling some type of way. Oh, nigga, he's still with you. Oh, man. He's still with you, baby. And um, uh, uh, Lord, Lori, Lori, whoever, you land that, oh, you land with the devil. Now that verse hit, what does it profit for a man to gain the world? Oh! That's crazy. And lose his soul, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. You fuck around and find out was a person, it was you. You wanna <laughs> run back to God and your mama, See, God too merciful, because I'll let you sit there and marinate with the devil for all that shit you did, that you're going to call on him instead of call on me. Please don't call me now, because you scared. Oh, you got oh, nightmares, crazy. or you feel it. Oh, no, you want to call me. Don't call me. So now what the fuck you do? Yeah, th now, now this, this is losing your soul. That's some lost soul shit. One, one, one in the chat. Like, if you got to play a role and beg for that, I don't want that fucking role. Hell no.
I don't want that role. You couldn't just like act. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Do you go kind of ask him, um, can you leave me alone now that the role's over? Uh, uh, what, what the fuck do you do now? Fooling me? Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I ain't even gonna that lie. That ain't even kind of crazy. That's crazy. That motherfucker. I remember my grandma told me, Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. Oh, Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. Oh, say, Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. Oh, call him up and tell him. What you want? That's what you should have did. Any role, I gotta call the devil to help me, bitch. I don't. Why are they doing it for the reason I don't watch that show? Y'all watching that show and he just sat here and told y'all he summoned the devil to Thank help. God it's over. Thank God the show is over. Him and y'all better watch that satanic shit. I ain't gonna lie. He was kind of crazy on that shit. I gotta do with it, but I don't know if y'all noticed. It's just kind of funny how nobody at that table was shocked when he said that. They wasn't. Pay attention. If it ain't about me, let's kick it. Let's kick. Next up, okay, we got Blueface, Blue in the Mall versus Krishan and Erica Badu. Ooh. Now, child, this is a hard one. We're going to make this shit quick because I ain't got time to talk about this mess over here. So, anyway, Krishan has been doing her thing. She's been getting her bag. Mama been free from all that toxic, evil mess. Just mm -hmm. mess. And so, um... Uh, Blueface and his girl, baby mama, Stewie, they were on live and this is what they said. Start over. I think she gonna fuck up and we gonna adopt the child. If it's my kid, I think she gonna fuck up. Then you then, think? I, oh, I'm gonna take the baby here, I'm gonna take the baby there. This is gonna go bad and we gonna adopt the child. I'm not gonna watch the child, so you gonna be stuck with It's the, and we're gonna adopt the child for me. I'm gonna bring the baby to your house like they gave it to me, so now it's you think I and the fact that he really thought that she was about to take care of his child i'm gonna watch y'all's child yeah i am not responsible no i'm not and you will find out very surely foster care it is i mean am i i'm not gonna feel bad for it foster care it is I'm now to me that is disgusting like i didn't even just see that part Y'all y'all are begging this girl to say something. Y'all want this girl to say something and she's not paying y'all no attention. Mama's and not going to make it. Damn, it went so bad. Like, you don't have... The <laughs> wow. Now, don't get me wrong. She was just trying to set his shit on fire. She's not trying. She's... <laughs> she did just set his shit on fire. About a week ago. However, that's besides the point. She ain't gonna do that. She ain't gonna do that. Do that at all. Is she? She ain't gonna do it. She's gonna be just fine. When she see that baby come out, then he gonna be, oh, I can't see my baby. Head ass. Money. This man is lost. He done lost his mind. He is trying any and everything to make Krishan snap. And Krishan is doing good and it's not working. This man was the problem. And I told y'all this man was the problem. But y'all don't want to believe me. But that girl, because she was d drugged up, drunk, and he don't ever be drunk and drugged up. But because she was <laughs> drunk and drugged up, she was mentally and emotionally gone, manipulated, and all of that. So y'all were thinking, oh, she breaking shit. She did. She that because she wasn't in her right mind. That was not Krishan. Now he back with a baby mama, and look how she acting. Come on. Don't do that. <laughs> Fight back. Fight that shit. Oh, my God. I'm on my <laughs> I told you not to take that last shot. <laughs> now look at you. She looked so stupid, bro. Oh, man. You can't even stand up by yourself. Watch out, look. I told you not to take the last shot. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Why you got to hang on? <laughs> I told you, don't take that shot. Look. <laughs> Nikki just back down. <laughs> uh, uh, I told you. It's about to Oh, uh, <laughs> oh shit. <the> <laughs>
<laughs> Can you close the door? Come on. Okay, fuck. <laughs> I'm what? Okay, fuck. Oh, okay, fuck. <laughs> I told you not to take that last shit. Driver, I told her. I said. It looked just like Krishan Rock. That is I think she looked worse. Exact same. Now, Krishan will break a TV, but I think she looked worse. Thing on the ground, falling out, drunk, stupid. And then listen to what he say. Check it out. I'm the same nigga every day on Square Crit. So to that mother, mother who, what? Was, who tried to blame me for her daughter being too drunk in the club, she tried to say I drugged her, I did this, I did that. Look, look, mama. And the nigga didn't even say I didn't do it. You're basically telling us that it you, <laughs> it's like you. he was insinuating that he did. Because look at how that girl look. I bleed every bit. I bleed my own bitch. What? If she too drunk, if she, can't, if she can't handle her, if she can't handle herself, cat. I come the bleeder of the year. Nobody's safe, cat. When you're around me, you better be a straight stand-up individual. Cause the second I see that, you feel me? Look. That's crazy. <laughs> she looks so stupid, man. <laughs> I'm the same nigga with everybody. I don't do sugar code. I don't play favoritism, no none of that. I'm the same nigga. Big got two kids by me. Look. Look at her. What? Now if her mama get online and say I drugged her. So people like, what does that mean? What does that blood shit mean? That basically what this man is telling y'all, he is an emotional vampire. He's going to suck you dry no matter who you are if he sees that you are weak and vulnerable he's going to suck the life out of you if you allow him to yeah that's one thing i can respect about blue he is going he, yeah. he, he tells tell you, you exactly like it is that's you're a, a hoe a you a bitch a i'm fact. not fucking with you i'm gonna do this to you i'm gonna do that i'm gonna have my baby mama i'm gonna do this if you don't that's act right i'm gonna do it he tells you but it's up to you but because he knows you're weak he's going to prey on you until he sucks the life out of you that's, he just said it right there and then here come the mama with her little two sis you know i don't really like her like that thought just because erica badu and carisha a bunch of renaissance center bitches was backing you that somebody was gonna give up we don't give a fuck about none of that shit Okay, them some rent center bitches that's backing you, okay? Don't nobody give, ain't nobody in their right mind finna tell another woman, yeah, you should take that man from her because she uh, did this or she did that and you should make him your man and you should have kids with him. Now, who, why, why would these women tell you and coach you to do that? You got to start thinking. So then there's this. This. He said you ain't his mama. Bye. Girl going around the mama, she said that he was at the club in Vegas or something and, and drugged her daughter or something like that allegedly. Oh, look on Blueface Live. He drugged my daughter last night. He drugged your niece last night. Look, she flew to Vegas last night. I flew in from a training from LA yesterday. My son, y'all nephew, pick me up, right? We take her shopping. She go get on the plane. We blow. I do smoke with my kids. We blow it. She get on the plane. She called me. I ain't gonna lie. We ain't even have to know that she smoked. This morning at 8 o'clock this morning telling me that they in the section with Blueface. Her friends keep telling her, like, don't him. She like, oh, I'm from my mama. I'm a boss. I ain't tripping off the money. I got this. All of a sudden, she alleviated. She don't know where the friend said alleviated. She at. Y'all, at the end of the day, I don't know. This man is just, this oh, man is manny and it's, it's all about him. I wish Stewie, I wish Stewie the best because Stewie is gone. If it ain't about me, Krishan got free. Next cat. Next one, duck cat, we got Jordan Combs. Now, child, I don't know what's going on with these celebrity people and why all these folks in Hollywood want to speed and drunk drive a baby. He did. He got a DUI, went to jail, whatever the case may be. Woo, woo, yada, yada, yada. I don't know what. Like out of all the people who could get a driver, this nigga can get a driver. 
he was coming from, where he rushing from, where he rushing to. But they got and honey, his mama came out and went crazy. Me said she came out and went crazy. Now I'm like, okay, all these riddles and rhymes and things like that, I cannot keep up. But what thing that mama gonna do, Miss Misa? They say she gonna clap back and Miss Thang gonna go to fall off. Oh, she is not the one or the two, so don't play with her. People around the way were getting mad. They were like, why she, why she not holding her son accountable? This man is 25, almost 30. He is a grown man. He know how to make rational decisions. Why did he get behind that wheel drunk? Just hold your son accountable. But honey, from the sounds of it, it's more to what's going on behind these scenes than what we know. Cause she was coming at P. Diddy. Now I don't know if she's saying he might have been at a party with P. Diddy. He might be on a function with P. Diddy. And then P. Diddy let this man drive home drunk. Or something could have been going on, could have been fighting. They both could have been drunk. Y'all know Diddy like a drink. And then this man left. But I'm just like, oh my God, Misa baby be quiet. Cause you know, anybody that come up and go against this man, this man, this man, this man. Okay. They disappear. You better so shit. She up. just talking, 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 talking. She, she need to just talk to Justin. She said, and Christina. I said, well, damn, who is this? I said, who is Christina? I'm looking for Christina. I'm like, where is she at, Christina? Oh, yeah, hand up to Christina. Like but the word on the card is Christina is the assistant. So then Kamora come in. She said, wait, what happened? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We going in. I said, Kamora, baby, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this ain't your battle, yeah. friend. You need to go worry about your man and why he don't fled somewhere on a yoga mat somewhere, girl. Worry about him, girl. Why he don't ran, girl. He don't ran, girl. I ain't got to do it. He don't worry about that. Girl, this cool, girl. I want to say this going to play out, girl. No, this blue face mama is just... I think she's just trying to look like a parent that I'm going to stand beside him. She's an I'ma stick beside him, parent. Something him. going on. Something Even that nigga on. said that, who was that lady? It ain't my mama. Girl, he wouldn't have to hear from me again. Uh -uh. All right, well, if it ain't about me. Why would you say some dumb ass shit, shit like that? that? All right, you guys, that's all I got for All right, y'all. Damn, this damn hour video. <laughs> I've been dodging and dodging it. We got it done, though. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Bye, child.